It's only game. Why you have to be mad? So I want to talk today, <clears throat> first and foremost, I want to talk about where to spend your energy. We talked about this a little bit last night. Uh, I'm sorry, not last night. At the end of my, uh, at the end of my last live stream uh, yesterday, we talked about the difference between spending energy on hero soul stones versus spending energy on promoting the hero. So the the argument was: Do you spend energy to evolve your hero, or do you spend energy to promote your hero? And evolving gives you. Um, let me show you, let me show you, I took a screenshot here, let's see, Dropbox, here, War Central, Videos, Spin Energy, which one was it? Here we go. So, <clears throat> I took the screenshot yesterday, and this right here kind of shows what happens when you evolve a hero. I don't think you get this information on mobile, I think it's just on Facebook. So. You evolve, when you evolve, you gain strength, intelligence, and agility, but you also gain power, and this is completely arbitrary. This power set doesn't mean anything. As opposed to promoting your heroes, and if you promote your heroes, you gain you know stats here and there. You also gain the color level, so you can gain access to new skills and new glyphs. So what do you what do you guys think about, you get the info on mobile? Okay, Bidorn, yeah, I wasn't sure. So what do you guys think about that? What are you guys thinking? And obviously, we're talking about campaign heroes like Astaroth, Galahad, Kira. How do you guys feel about that? What do you guys feel? Because I've already done the video. Like, I've already completed the video. It's going to go live here this afternoon. But I'm curious what you guys think. What do you guys feel is the, is the optimal way to spend your energy every day? No event. If there's an event active... If there's an event active that it's like, hey, you know, I want you to collect hero soul stones. If that event is active, then I always, I always recommend players to. Let me, let me just jump in here and show you what I mean. So let's say that there's a special event active that says to collect, um, to collect hero soul stones. Man, I love these, I love these Nordic skins. Um, and then on those events, I always tell people to spend energy collecting soul stones for missions instead of, you know, promoting your promoting your heroes, you know, you're, you're double dipping. Not only are you evolving your hero, but you're also, uh, you know, getting further along in the quest. So, so let's go ahead and cut that out. There's no event. So there's no bonus for collecting soul stones. What do you guys think? D Warman says, I think evolving is not as beneficial in your opinion. Uh, can you expand on that for me? Balance of both. Immortal ferocity says balance of both, but later in the game, mostly on equipment promotion. See, I think that, I think that, that there's room for both. I mean, they're using the same resource. That's the that's the catalyst of the argument is that they're using the same resource, energy, right? So, and this is more of a problem on Facebook. On mobile, on mobile, you guys have hero events so frequently, so frequently that it probably doesn't matter. Funny when there was a, the Yasmin event, I spent 2,500 energy to get her, yeah. One hero's equipment and one hero soul stone. See, Matt Treese, that's what I do. I, I work on evolving one hero like for my my main account, let me switch over to my main my main server here. My main account, I have been trying to grind out Galahad Soulstones. Galahad Helios and Peppy actually. Cuz I'm more about collecting on this main account than I am actually being. So, when I go to my heroes, like I have all of these heroes at absolute star already and all the way down and you know i can't absolute star sebastian until there's another event so i've been like collecting these three heroes soul stones so like i'll jump in and i'll do i'll do galahad's three you know i'll spend i'll do i usually do you know I, i've been doing galahad a lot this week and then the rest of my energy i dump into promoting a hero right so this is a this is a this is a freaking grind so I do it on two different heroes. Um, I want to spend all my energy collecting pastors, seals. Yeah, that freaking ring. Man, that ring is, it's terrible. It's terrible. Charlie, is faceless work with Kira? Not really. I wouldn't do fa I wouldn't do faceless with Kira. It's okay, but you need to max out his physical attack glyph. Um, when you promote your hero gets stronger, better than when you evolve, you notice a larger difference. d Warren, that is true. You notice a larger difference. However, the, the issue that I run into a lot is that or the, the the math of it the math of it just pulling that image back up here 
Where did that image go? So let's take this for example. <clears throat> let's take Orion here for example. We evolved Orion to level 72. Um, and I think I think this, and okay, so it's on my other account. Let me switch back over. And on my other account, my Orion being 72, let me just let me just show you what I mean. Let me just show you what I mean by this. Why it's why it's a different. Uh, it's not a bad bundle to buy. Um, come on. So if I look at my Orion here, <clears throat> right, and so looking at this image, I gain 216 intelligence. Right. So what is intelligence? Intelligence is three magic attack. So I get. 216 times three. So I get 648 magic attack. 648 magic attack whenever I evolve from one to two stars. Uh, counter, count, you know, counter that with, you know, I get 80 from this item. Whoops. I get another 80 from that item. I get none from that. I'm getting a little magic defense. I'm getting 80. So, so the math, the math is weird. See ya, Noah. Energy to get soul stones and that can get me equipment to evolve hero. Jason Hicks, double dipping. Good point. Good point. If there is an item that you're chasing, like this candle, that also happens to provide you soul stones for the hero that you're chasing, that's double dipping. That's a good point. They need a market to exchange items for other items or parts of items. Todd Tyler, that's a fantastic idea. That's a fantastic idea. Before level 120... Getting the soul stones gives way less experience for your characters than farming higher items. Script Scriptees makes a good point there. Before you get to max level, uh, grinding the soul stones gives less experience for your character than farming higher items. But I thought, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I thought that the energy, well, maybe I don't really know. Maybe I don't really know. Why don't you XP all your heroes to 130? I don't have enough XP potions yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both important, but I tend to get items to promote with higher priority. However, I still go after soul stones now to get to absolute star and have hero soul coins. Morning, Rod. Um, Phoenix, we'll talk about that in a second. Sedlam says, at some point between violet plus two and orange, farming is not really feasible for items in campaign. At that point, switch to soul stones and buy the items you need in the merchant. I think a mix of both. I think a mix of both is is smart. I think a mix of both is the answer. Sedlam, Sedlam's point about this is really good. And the reason why it's so important, and, and I talk about this in the video, but once you get to Violet plus two, you unlock the final glyph. Like you get, you need Violet plus one and Violet plus two to unlock these last two glyphs. And of course you need, you need Violet to unlock the Violet skill. But once you get there, once you get there, I think, I think you need to adjust your focus for that hero. And work on their work on their soul stones. <clears throat>